Today I am bringing you a video explaining the history of the One Piece dubs, at least the English one. The first time One Piece was ever adapted into English officially was in the Odex dub created in Cinnabore. The Odex dub adapted two seasons of 52 episodes each, totaling to about 104 episodes. Chuck Powers was the director of the Odex dub and also played the voice of Monkey D. Luffy, making him the first voice actor to ever voice Monkey D. Luffy in English. However, the Odex dub did fail. After a period of time, four kids acquired the rights to dub One Piece. However, what a lot of people do not know is that 4Kids never wanted to dub One Piece in the first place. 4Kids was trying to acquire the rights to the anime Magical Doremi. From Toei Animation. However, Toei Animation refused to allow them to dub this new anime series unless they dubbed One Piece. It was a package deal. To get Magical Dreamy, they had to dub One Piece, so they worked with what they got. They were well aware that One Piece was not meant for their tar target audience, but they did not have a choice. The auditions were overseen by Toei Animation, which is the reason that Luffy ended up with an English female voice actor. He was originally going to have a male one, but in order to keep the spirit of the Japanese virgin, the role was given to Bella Huston. Prior to the release of the 4Kids dub, there was a recorded version of the One Piece's original opening, We Are. <laughs> However, it was scrapped and replaced with what we call the One Piece rap. Due to the censorship necessary for four kids to be able to air this dub of One Piece on their network and appeal to their target demographic, which is incredibly, incredibly young children, many things were censored, and yet names were changed, and translation errors were made since it's calling Zoro, Zolo. However, changing Zoro's name to Zolo could also be because they wanted to avoid copyright issues. This change was actually not even really made by four kids. It was made prior to them attaining the right. Because having a character named Zoro could conflict with the famous Johnston Nicali character, Zoro. Four kids also collaborated with Viz Media because they had already been publishing the manga for many, many years. Unfortunately, about halfway through the four kick run of One Piece, several story arcs and episodes were skipped in order to get to the point where Tony Tony Chopper was first introduced. Because in Japan, when Chopper was introduced, One Piece skyrocketed in popularity. In the year 2004, Four Kids announced that they were canceling the production of the Four Kids One Piece dub, and Funimation eventually acquired the rights. Funimation held an audition, and eventually a group of possible voice actors were chosen for the first eight Straw Hats, including future Straw Hat Frankie, who had yet to be introduced in America. However, the awesome part of the Funimation cast is that the actors that were ultimately chosen, at least for Luffy through Frankie, were chosen by Ichida Oda himself. Funimation originally had to record every episode twice, the uncut version and the cut version, as they had to continue from where four kids left off on the Toonami release, and four kids had heavily censored One Piece, as they did think, like refer to Zoro as Zolo, and instead of calling Eneru the god Eneru, 
They called him Enaru the Sky Lord or King Enaru. So Funimation had to record a version of the series to air on TV that was consistent with four kids style. However, they also recorded the uncut version of One Piece that would include the blood and all the original terminology that the terms like God, Enaru, and his priest. In the four kid version, Enaru priest were called his vassals. Of course, there's always some kind of deal when you license the dub. As part of this licensing deal, they had to dub the One Piece movie, Episode of Alabasta, and the One Piece video game, Unlimited Adventure. Funimation would eventually go back and redub everything four kids did in the uncut, uncensored version with the proper terminology and name. Funimation would then continue to dub One Piece for the years to come, and that is how we got to the point we are at now, which is the dubbing of the 8th Stavo and Luffy flashback. But guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Tell me in the comments if you learned anything, if you found it interesting, because I hope I taught you guys something new about the One Piece dub and its history in America and in the just in the English speaking language in general, if you will. But if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and above all else, guys, have a great day.